Let's see how to use regular expressions in R in order to match um, very complex patterns. So essentially when we receive a text, we ideally would like to pre-process it, maybe find a specific occurrence of a letter or split a text um, according to a specific character or do some complex data man manip or text manipulation. So it's not very easy by using the specific R functions like such as length, uh, substring and so on. There are much more efficient ways, and one of these ways is using uh, regex expressions. So they are very famous and they are used a lot, especially in, um, among web developers. And they allow you to, to specify a very specific syntax for finding um, occurrences of a certain pattern. So uh, in R we'll use the grep function and we'll pass a regular expression as the first parameter. We will then pass uh, the list of the strings that we want to match. Potentially, this could be just one string. And finally, we'll, we'll indicate value equals true. So uh, let's uh, let's see how to do this. First, I will be defining this um, vector a, which will contain this text. And then, for example, I would like to find where I had a, b, and c. So the three letters in a row. So that happened in two of the uh, situations. Then let's uh, get when I have, um, let's say, an M or a Q. And the way we specify that is by using this notation. So it will search for an M or a Q or any character that I put here. Many people, when writing this, for example, they are searching, well, let's search for any letter. So you can write it this way. So this will search any letter from A to Z. And maybe you can specify something else later. So any letter followed by, let's say, a 2, followed by, again, any letter, followed by a Y, for example. So you can define those things. So um, let's go back. So if we search for an M or a K, we get uh, these two. We can then search here uh, the strings that start with a specific character. So we can use this uh, notation. This returns A, B, C, D, A, B, C, C, A, C, M. We can do a similar thing, but uh, for the strings that end with a specific character, which in this case, I should be getting only A, C, M. I'll be uh, searching for characters ending with an M. So that's what I get. Uh, I could certainly write, write much more complex uh, things such as an OR operator, which in this case is a little redundant, but anyway, it, it explains the idea. So this will say, I would like to search for an M or a C. Remember that, and the reason I'm saying this is redundant is because I could have used this and this would be equivalent. but. As you can imagine, you can use this in more complex operations, such as this one. So, for example, you could be searching for an M or a C followed by an X or an X. So this would be like M, M's, an M and a C or an X, for example. That could be a pattern that you could you could potentially search. So you can see how this uh, operator can be used for building much more complex uh, things than just this, just having this list. So uh, let's see a different thing. We could search for an A and then a B or a C. So we get these three. And you can identify that we, have, we can build very, very... Um, very complex queries. There is a specific regex language that is quite quite uh, difficult to understand because it takes it takes time to to know how to write your your regex uh, syntax. But anyway, the important idea is that with this simple approach, you can attack any text that you want. Uh, you you will obviously need to spend some time learning uh, more about regex, but with this in R, this works really fast, and you don't need to use those cumbersome text functions that we have in R.